All right, part one of we're getting a wood stove. First of all, we got all this stuff. The wood stove is here. Travis Industries House of Fire. This is a Rainier 90. It's a standalone um, wood stove, non-catalytic, and of course, all the supplies are here. The the piping, all the different. You know, the flue material, all that, the elbows, whatever we're going to need, it's all here. Then we got some wood. Got just a half a cord. We're not planning on burning this all the time. It's not going to be our sole source of heat. I don't know, maybe a year from now we'll say, yeah, we'd like to have it be our sole source of heat. But for now, we just got a half a cord stacked up, nice dry season stuff. We also have this product from... Uh, that I found online people told me about called fat wood. It's wood that's got resin in it. Great for kindling. So I got some of that. Now let's see. What else? Well, where's it going to go? The guys are coming in a couple of days. Uh, hello Morgan. Amber, get out of the way. And, you know, we got all our pokers and all that sort of stuff. I've got some wood all set. Here's some medium kindling for when we get ready to, you know, the second layer. All right, we'll start with newspaper and the small stuff, and then we'll go to this second layer stuff. And then we'll go to the bigger stuff here. we got some bigger pieces. So that's all ready to go. And it's going to end up over here, about three feet from the wall, and it'll have a base plate and so forth. So that's where it's going to go. And hopefully on Monday, maybe we can even get the inspector out here. And they're going to close that wall off on the left side there where you see into the kitchen now. So it's just going to be one wall, a fire retardant drywall. And uh, maybe the inspector will be able to come out the same day. And maybe he won't. But in any case, I've been studying up. I've built a pretty good campfire outside. But learning how to do it inside, that's another matter. I'm ready for